Hi everyone and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Glimpsy May. And I will teach you in this video on how to secure your PLDT home fiber internet connection. So just stay tuned guys and watch this video. By the way, before we start, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you will be notified for my next videos to come. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment that in. Guys, what you see on your screen is the PLDT Home Fiber Internet web address that um, added under description para maklik ni lang yung link. Now, once you're there, all you have to do is log in using your username and password. Now, for um, for first time visitors or for first time users, all you have to do is just use admin. A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase for your username and your password. Now, in my case, since meron na akong naka-set up, all I have to do is just um, use my own password, but still username would remain to be admin, all lowercase. So, let me just go ahead and log in. Hold on. Okay, so we'll just need to wait for us to be logged in. Now, once you've logged in, ito yung makikita nyo. We have four bars right here. So, the first one, we have status. Next, we have network. Next is security. And lastly, we have management. So, we'll tackle that one by one. So, first is under status. So, first that you will see is the device information. So, wala ka namang babaguhin dyan. Then, next under status is wireless status. Now, under wireless status, you will be able to see there um, the SSID name. So, you can come up with a network name or what they call the SSID. But, um, in my case, we only have one. So, mostly, ang mga nakakonect dito sa Wi-Fi name na to is um, those who are using Android phones. Now, when we go down to 5G wireless status, you also see there another network name or SSID name. So, this one naman is for those who are using iOS or iPhones. So, they are the ones who's connecting to this network. Now, under status, um, you will also see their Wi-Fi client list. So, ibig sabihin, makikita nyo dyan kung sino at ilan ang nakakonect sa Wi-Fi network nyo. So, as you can see, we have here five. So, lima dito sa bahay ang nakakonect sa Wi-Fi network na to. Okay, so if you see anything that's more than that, so, if you see anyone who was able to get into your Wi-Fi connection, you can just simply change your password. You can just go to management and there you can manage your username and password. Okay, for a VOIP status, um, you will see there your telephone number. And as you can see, it's it's idle. So, ibig sabihin wala namang gumagamit ng phone. No phone calls on that phone number. All right. So next, we'll go to network. So under network, we have your basic, advanced, WPS, and so on and so forth. So let's check under basic. So wala naman. Now under advanced, dito ka na magsiset up ng network name nyo or SSID choice. So, you can choose from the drop-down. So, you can choose some um, number one if that's the first um, time that you will set up your network name. Enter in the network name that you want or Wi-Fi network name na gusto nyo. And then, password or passphrase. So, you'll just need to type that in and click on apply. And don't forget, by the way, to click on Enable under SSID Choice. Okay. Now, if you also want to hide your um, SSID name, you can also do so. You can just check on the right. You can just check the hidden box right here. There's the 5G Advanced. So, as what I told you earlier, under this 5G Advanced, um, this is the network where um, anyone who's using an iPhone is connected to this. 
so still you need to set up the passphrase and click on apply okay so I believe that's just it under network now let's go to security now you will see there firewall control and then parental control so firewall enable you'll just need to check that and click on apply and parental control so under security you will see their firewall control so you have option there either to enable or disable it ngayon kung i-disable mo yan ibig sabihin whoever can reach your wi-fi wi-fi network can connect to it without entering the password so for us to be able to be secured you'll just need to enable it and click on apply Okay? Para kahit sino mang makakita ng Wi-Fi network nyo, hindi, hindi siya makakapag-connect ng basta-basta. They need to enter in the password before they could do so. Now, um, let's go down to parental control. So, this is very helpful for those who has um, kids at home. You can set up the start time and the end time on when they can use the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so yun lang naman. Now, let's go to the fourth tab. We have here, Management. So, if you feel that you want to change your password, so you can just do so by entering in the old password and enter in the new password and confirm it. After which, you can just click on Apply. Okay, so ganun lang kadali. Um, so if you have any questions, do not forget to just um, comment that below. And I'll try my best to answer that. But as of the meantime, I believe everything is good to go. So thank you so much all again for watching and you have a great day.